in this video i wanted to take a look at my 40 pound bargain on ebay the zoom 4040 effects unit now considered vintage made in the early 90s uh, the guitar in the background the ibanez when i bought that back in the early 90s when i was young and had far too much money and maxed out my credit card bought the ibanez couldn't quite afford this which was quite expensive and quite top of the range at the time and I plumped for the 2020 instead, which was smaller and didn't have as much on. I didn't have the volume pedal, the expression pedal, which also served as a wah wah pedal. Loads more banks. I mean, the reason that I've wanted this is because going through the um, the Vox BM1 obviously doesn't have any effects on it. Like so, this has obviously your chorus. You've got different types of um, got clean, overdrive, distortion, lead, different types of distortion, metal. That's what I'd wanted it for originally, way back in the 90s when I was in a Steve Vai and Joe Satrioni, which the 2020 let it down. There was an 8080 and that seemed even higher spec again. This has got, you know, you've got a pitch pedal on it. Uh, you can, it serves as a harmonizer. You've got a flanger, you've got a step um, effect, phaser, is a chorus, or what you'd expect. Delay, there's like a mono delay and a ping pong delay, which is very good. We'll look at that shortly, but the expression pedal. So it does a whole range of different things. Now, if you're prepared, uh, if you're on a limited budget, this costs £40, uh, free postage, which is nothing for what it does. And at the time, it was kind of state of the art. I uh, saw one recently, well actually last night, went for £29, so, and that had, with the postage, it was just over £30, which is pretty much coppers for what it actually does. So instead of reviewing, reviewing the actual thing and looking at how it works, because it has like the uh, meters where you, you, you link up the lights and then able to alter the values for what you want, I'm not going to look at that because that would be a bit mind-numbing. I don't know how to get a Brian May sound. When I've looked at uh, it, the way Brian May gets his sound, he tends to have his guitar plugged into the treble boost that then runs everything after that. If you, So what I've done is I've plugged into the BM uh, Brian May amp, which serves as like a treble booster. I've kind of done it the wrong way around. Uh, so I plugged into that, run that through this, and then run this through the hi-fi speakers, which gives you like a nice big big sound tried it the other way around and it just sounded absolutely horrible but if you're prepared to uh, i mean a lot of the modern stuff it costs a fortune you can plug it into your laptop download patches on it you know some of them have got loopers and drum machines and goodness knows what else but primarily for your basic functions of delay chorus flanger and all them different things and um, you cannot go wrong if you're on a limited budget so let's take a look at what i came up with I'll get like a Brian May sound and a bit more by using the Zoom 4040. So with this setting, I just used a little bit of chorus and it just added a little bit extra to what the, the Vox BM on its own does. <laughs> with the chorus what i like about this pedal with this particular setting you can increase the amount of chorus so you can hear that so you can just with the expression pedal go back to that original sound we've got a crunch if we take the volume down also 
bit more responsive just by taking the out of phase switch which gave a really nice sound it also had delay on it now normally uh, Brian May would use 800 milliseconds and 1600 milliseconds on the delay. This unit only goes up to 1000. So put it on the 800 milliseconds. This is what it sounded like. Interestingly, when flicking through what whoever had owned this, the settings they had, they actually had this setting because it is also serves as a harmonizer. So check this out. <laughs> about this pedal and this was kind of why I wanted it in the first place all them years ago so going away from the Brian May sound stuff like Steve Vai type stuff Thank you. 